Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2. Last episode, if you missed it, we finally went Jewish. Uh, we are very, very old and Jewish. We are 72 now. Uh, I kind of rushed to just revoke all the land because, uh, you know, they're going to vote for whoever. We could die any moment and they're going to vote for uh, not a Jew because all the voters were not Jewish. So they're going to vote for someone of their own religion. So, uh, I just revoked all the land. But I forgot there's actually a cascading effect. If one guy says, no, fuck you, and declares war, they're all just gonna be like, oh, he's in a war, I could declare war on him. So, a lot of them revolted. Uh, the ones who I couldn't just demand a conversion out of easily, which I got a lot of them through that. So, we are Jewish, but we have a big revolt. However, between episodes, I just took a moment, it's still paused, and just looked at, um... I just took a moment and looked at, like, all of the people I'm fighting. I actually have way more troops than everybody that I'm fighting, so I could still crush the entire revolt pretty easily. The main problem that I foresee, and you know what? I'm actually going to split the army right now into two big groups here. Um, and use this to just siege stuff. Um, the main problem I'm seeing is money. We have way more troops than the enemy does. However, uh, money is very limited right now, and that is a concern. Let's, uh, gotta hit when it says, oh, they're leading troops. No, they're not. I know they're not. Uh, because, look, they're, like, right here. It's just those three guys. So, it's, uh, these three. Okay. I'll need to figure out exactly who I want to use here. I mean, those three is the safe pick, but... Okay, yeah, I just have the six commanders. Okay, that'll do. Uh, so right now it's money is the big problem. We only have uh, 86, almost $87, but we're using a lot more than we gain. Yearly balance, negative 400, which is really bad. Um, if we need to, we could probably win with just retinue and then our uh, vassal people. We could also potentially get an emergency alliance with somebody, although most people probably wouldn't be willing to because no other landowner in the game outside of our kingdom is Jewish, so they're not going to want to ally with us. Um, we can't borrow money from Jewish merchants because we are Jewish, and so the only thing we could do is borrow money from these merchants who I can't pronounce. However, we are not on the Silk Road. Uh, to borrow from them, you need to have uh, a Silk Road trade post, which we do not have, obviously. So, uh, right now, the big thing is just knock out the war pretty fast. Uh, if we can ransom prisoners at any point, we're probably going to, to get the emergency money. However, right now, uh, we can't. We can banish one person. They have a little bit of money, actually. Let's banish them. Okay, we got the slightest bit of money out of that. Any money we can get is important. Also, I've set my retinue to reinforce at half speed because we don't need the troops. We don't need every last troop, and uh, we need to save money. So reinforcing them at half speed will squeeze a little bit more time out of being able to keep my levy up. Um, either than that, we're, we can't take prisoners really, really easily like we used to because we're not part of the Warrior's Lodge as we've gone Jewish, so they kicked us out. Start hunting apostates. Uh, we are hunting apostates right now. We're also building a spy network, which we don't need to do anymore. Um, are we trying to assassinate anybody? No. So we can switch to probably scheming to discover plots against me, because there are going to be quite a few right now. Uh, and I don't need the tech incredibly desperately yet, so I'm actually going to switch to scheming to keep me safer. Renu is reinforcing out of prestige and piety. Some of it, yes, but not all of it. Uh, the vast majority of my retinue is with money. Uh, which is why, if you look at this, retinue upkeep is uh, very, very expensive on money. Because, if you go to military and retinue, I'm almost entirely using light cavalry, which for a tribe is the only one based in money. About 90% of my retinue is funded by money. All right. You have four options for counselors. Is that mod or DLC? That's DLC. Uh, and I'm still happy with Statecraft. I'm still happy with Build Legend, because that could get me a bunch of free warriors. In fact, a pretty good ch chance per year to get free warriors, and the free warriors would be very much appreciated. In fact, I'm going to build Zeal as well, so I might get Zealots, because the Zealots um, 
could help me in the war. So though that gives me some chances to get a bunch of free units, and I will take what I can get on that. We're also training troops to get more levy size, but we might... Uh... We might need, need the levy. In fact, if money becomes an issue, we're going to switch that to organize the army, as that'll cut down on retinue cost. So right now, we have a much, much larger enemy or army than either of the revolts, even though two revolts combined. However, we don't have a ton of money. So we're going to have to control this on a low speed. We're going to go to speed three, and I'm going to pay pretty close attention to this, so I'm sorry if I don't respond to the chat super up to date. Last minute here, let's just check our tech. We already went to level four uh, military organization for the morale so that we get the most out of every troop. And honestly, I... Yeah, castle techs, we don't really have castles or cities. We have a little bit of churches. Uh, we don't really need to upgrade any of these right now. We don't really have any reason to upgrade any of that. Okay, I was just seeing if there's any last minute tech we wanted, which it doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, we don't, we don't really need to rush ship building. I get the feeling it's not going to help here. You can join the Warriors Lodge even if you're Jewish. You just need neighbors to be pagan. We have na na uh, neighbors that are pagan and we got kicked out of the society. Yeah, we can't join them. Because we do not follow the Slavic religion. Yeah, and we're also a zealot. So, the other thing doesn't work. We're a Jewish zealot. Anyway, let's fight. Let's do this. All right, we're going to play this nice and slow. Okay, right, people are still actively paying for ransoms, by the way, which means we really need to keep an eye on this to see if anyone else pops up, because you can only ask for one ransom from one person at a time. Mm, what's this? This is a Serbian revolt. They want to marry into the family. They have a thousand troops. Are they going to win their war? No. I mean, it's kind of 50-50. Uh, they want to marry Pixelated Knight. 1,000 troops is not going to change my war at all. So, uh, I need- I'm going to decline that. Yeah, you need to not be Zealotus, that's correct. My heir could join, potentially. I'm probably not going to bother, because we're likely switching religion soon, and you guys have the link in the chat that I'd appreciate it if you repost every once in a while for new people, where you can vote on what my next government will be. So far, Merchant Republic is winning. Okay, just seeing where all my people are going here. I'm keeping an eye on the, uh... Other armies there. The Austrian army, which is our heir, actually, I believe is the Austrian duke. All right, you're paying a ransom. That's beautiful. I love when you pay ransoms. Every time someone pays a ransom, I'm just going to check. Okay, yeah, we are walking after these guys to hit them because they have a ruler leading their troops, which could potentially give us a ton of war score if we kidnap them. All right, we're just sieging some random place here. Uh, is there a castle there? Just a village or a tribe, rather? We'll siege that fast, then. Yeah. And before we do too much. Do I have any great candidates for new commanders? Not particularly. We could get a lead the center, but he's not very talented. And we've already brought in basically everyone who's willing to join us. But yeah, yeah, none of these guys are good at fighting. Okay, we brought in basically every Jew that exists in the world. Already last episode. Uh, so we can have the cream of the crop. All right, yeah. You get over there. Get over there faster, please. I really want him to uh, go that way so we don't have a river crossing as bad. Actually, let's manually check this. Major river crossings in... Is that every direction? Uh, almost. We'd have to come from up there, wouldn't we? Yep. What's the path for that? It'd be going through them anyway. Okay, we're just gonna... Uh, you know, we're gonna hit the smaller group first. Just so that they don't walk over and combine with them. Great martial ability. I was able to round up and, round up and kill robber barons. Plaguing a place. Good, that's more tax income for me. Which we need every bit of tax income we can get right now. Okay, we'll win that fight really quick and then go on and hit them. I don't like attacking through a river like that, especially when every troop matters so much. Okay, we've drastically cut down on our expensive by reducing uh, retinue upkeep. This is good. Okay. I'm slightly tempted to even organize raids, but uh, probably shouldn't. We could raise that extra levy, but we really don't need to. Yeah. For now, we're going to keep it like this, and if we really need to squeeze some money, we'll, we'll, lower some, we'll drop some of our levy. And uh, organize, uh, organize the army to save money on retinue. 
Okay, they're already retreating in the center. Yeah, they're doomed. We're good. Oh god, we're infirm. Yeah, drops all of our stats by three. Our health is down. We're gonna have a regent. Hold on, who would our regent be? I want it to be my heir. I trust Chief Sayuri. Yeah, I'm gonna immediately... Uh, oh, no. Do we already have a regent? We already have a regent. Is Black Skull Dragon. He has decent military skill. Does our heir have more? No. Okay, you know what? I'm happy with him then. He'll do. It's more military score than us. Okay, that actually being infirm, right? Because it's not infirm, it's bedridden. That would make it us need a region. So we don't yet, but this isn't looking good. Okay. We're likely on our deathbed, everybody. We're getting close. Okay. Uh, we'll tack across the river. It'll have to do. It'll be fine. We almost have some occupied land, which will help with war score. Because right now it's just a bad ticking war score. They're trying to just kind of spread out. I don't know why they're doing that. I'd like it if my vassals just started hitting places. That'd be nice. Instead, they're all congregating with him. I'm going to tell them to actually just fuck off because I honestly don't need the help. Uh, I don't know. That's manually ordering them to detach the army. I'd rather they just fuck off and go do their own thing, honestly. But the controls for that aren't as good as an EU4. Um, would it be a problem to start pulling Jews worldwide in? To have uh, people to give land to. We already did that last episode. We got almost every Jew in the world who was willing to join. There's like three left. All right. Uh, we got our battle here. How's this looking? Uh, their commanders are shit. We're fine. We're taking through a major river, which sucks, but their commanders are horrible. Okay, that siege is done. That was all the land there, which immediately gave us a lot of war score. Can I see the land of this revolt? Okay, it's not much. It's this and this. Okay. Let's immediately go grab some of this land up, just so that they don't have a ticking war score against us. Okay, yeah, they're already retreating almost entirely. We're fine. Uh, they're sieging little bits here and there, but it's okay. What matters is that we own a little bit of their land, at least. Victory. And we brought in a chief. He is a major part of their revolt, isn't he? Yes, our war score just went up a lot. All right. He's not the leader of their war, so I don't want to ransom him back. He'll probably pay his own ransom. Yeah, he could pay his own ransom, which is a lot of money, but we'd lose war score. So I'm going to say, um, I want rulers, no. So we're not willing to ransom rulers because they gave us war score. And we're going to use this to unsiege this... There, that instantly unseached some of it. That gave us a lot of war score doing that. Okay, we're good. Can we plot to kill some of the revolt leaders? Uh, ooh, you've won that way. That's a good point, Sassarus. That might make it a little safer for us. So this is the main guy we're against here. He's the main landowner. We'd have a passable chance of killing him. The problem is we wouldn't be able to bribe on them. We don't have the spare cash for that. Is there anyone who could really easily kill? Okay, none of the enemies in that war. We're not actually against that many vassals, interestingly. Yeah, there's no one that I could really reliably kill. I'll plot to kill this guy just because I'm not plotting to kill anybody else. And if it happens, it happens. It's just unlikely. Okay, even if I had money, I wouldn't be able to get him that way, but that's fine. I'll just have that in the background on the off chance that situations change. Maybe people start to hate on him. Who knows? Okay, that's, that's unsieged. Um, do I really need to resiege that right now? Probably not. I'd rather chase some troops on the off chance that I kidnap more commanders that happen to be uh, landowners. There's three dudes there, and he has one of his chiefs leading that. That is reckless. Okay, they have an organizer, right? Yes, they have an organizer, so they've got movement speed. I'm happy about that. I should also probably siege some places that don't really have... Uh, that are just, like, tribes, because we can... We can siege those really quickly just to get some land. Attempt to sway people who could give plot power. That is a good idea. Save money, get affection. Give affection. That's a that's a good idea. I like that idea. Uh, so if we look at our plot here. Oh, sorry. Uh, plot power. Who'd give the most? Chief Wojtek, isn't he against us in the war? He is. Um, I'll still try and sway him, but chances are low. Plot to kill the king of Poland for extra land. I don't believe I'm his heir right now. Yeah. I'm not his heir. 
Okay, I hope I, uh, could you please go down there and do some damage? That'd be nice. I, I should just go right after their king soon. Because I really want to just, like, take some chiefs. If I need to, I'll ransom some chiefs for emergency army money, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, we killed him as one troop. Okay, they, uh, it's gonna be slow to siege that. Get across the river, and if we get an opportunity, we'll just jump in and hit some of their good people. See what we can do. I really do not like there being this this taking so long. Too bad you were his, his heir. Yeah, for a very short time I was, but then it switched. I killed the previous king there too. Our money's getting very low very quickly. Okay, just jump in there and immediately hit him with overwhelming numbers. Hopefully we'll take a count or something and get some serious war score. A daughter was born. A oh, quarter stick. You just got a daughter. It's a bastard daughter. Is your dad a known lecher? He is lustful. Yeah, that's probably what it was. Tribal Kinslayer. And he has lover's box. Okay. And he's seduction focus. Okay, I think we know what happened there. Switch your council person. Yeah, I, I think we do. We, we have way too many troops. We're going to switch to organize the army. It'll cut down on our retinue maintenance cost by 21. And in fact, I might turn off retinue... Reinforcement to squeeze a little bit more time out. I don't know. We'll see what this turns it to. Okay, we just crush them like it's nothing. Yeah. So that right there is a Slavic uprising. That has nothing to do with us there. I don't need to worry about that. Okay. Whereas this is part of the Carpathian Revolt, which is what we're dealing with. There we go. Okay. We captured somebody. We captured the leader of their revolt, didn't we? He's an emperor level. Why is he emperor level? He owns no land. I think he is just a regular commander. Yeah, it's just saying that he's in an empire. Yeah, because our war score barely went up for that. We could ransom him, couldn't we? For 10 and he's not willing to pay. Oh, he can't afford it. Okay. Okay, the king of the revolt just ran out of money. The king of one of the revolts just ran out of money. How about the king of the other revolt? He's still got a good amount of money left. Okay. When you're out of money, your morale goes down for your troops, and you can't last forever with your troops up. So I've mentioned sorry, you have all the DLC for this? Yes. Um, this war is getting interesting. Okay. I don't like that they've got that siege. I hope my vassals take care of that. Um, is this just that's just a that's just a tribe? Good. We can we can get that land so they don't have a ticking war score on us. Okay, so we want a good fight there. I wish my guys would just kind of fuck off. They might not always comply, yeah. Uh hatch this army and then cancel. I wish I could tell them to just go siege places. Because that's what I want them to do right now. In fact, I'm gonna split up my army a little bit more to siege places faster. I hate to do this because I only have so many commanders. But genuinely, I really need to mass siege things. We've already won some big battles and everything. Okay. Throw one up there. You can split. Oh, that's not a good split to do. Okay, yeah, they can't split anymore because of the awkward numbers. Okay, those two can merge and stay where they are. These ones are going to go down there. Okay. They're going to still stay near each other in case they need to back each other up, but this way they can cover more ground. Surprised he still hasn't tried to eat some of the land due to revolts. Or the HRE hasn't tried to. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't either. Um, military, war allies, siege. Military... Allies in war. Oh shit, I forgot about this. Good call. That was Aiden Zoom. Good call, Aiden Zoom. I genuinely totally forgot. Okay, yeah, I'm telling all my allies, go siege places. Let's take some land. Thank you so much for that, Aiden Zoom. I totally forgot that was in the game. I was thinking that that, was, that, that kind of thing was only for vassals in um, EU4. Uh, daughter was born to some people. Okay, I've got $12 left. Okay, I'm gonna turn off retinue reinforcement to squeeze just the tiniest bit more out of this. Come on, we gotta what we gotta get is some sieges, because we siege some places, we can get some money out of it. 